Hello and welcome to the STU Summit in Korea. We're here, we have a special guest, Julian Kwan, CEO of InvestorX. Hello. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, to begin, could you please offer a self introduction to the viewers? Sure, my name is Julian Kwan. I'm the co-founder and CEO of InvestorX. Uh, also another platform called iXswap. Mm -hmm. Originally from Australia, I moved to Beijing when I was 21 um, to study some Chinese and then... Just for studying? Just for studying. Wow. I went back to Australia and in a few days I got bored and went one-way ticket to Shanghai. And then I ended up staying for 13 years and mm. starting um, an advertising company, the first carbon neutral boutique hotel, Wow. Uh, some real estate projects. And then uh, in 2014-15 I wanted to get into the online investment space mm -hmm. and I didn't want to do that in China. Yeah. Um, so. I picked Singapore because they were the most positive on the regulation front mm. and we started Investor X, which is one of the first real estate online investment platforms oh, okay. and in 2018 we went full tilt tokenization and went and applied for exchange licenses and custody licenses and retail investor licenses and built key infrastructure to help anyone oh. uh, issue and trade and STO. Mm, cool. So, um, can you share more overview of your company's mission and its key contribution to the STO industry? Yeah, so when you think about uh, STOs, we're digitizing, we're mm. tokenizing all kinds of assets. Yeah. Um, from a user experience perspective, mm. we wanted to make it a one-stop shop. Okay. So we needed to get all the licenses, so a real estate group or a startup or uh, a company can come to us and mm -hmm. we can do everything. We oh. can uh, structure the tokens, we can technically issue it, the token, okay. we can onboard all the investors with KYC, mm. AML, we've got bank accounts and stable coins for them to mm. buy the assets, wallets, so they can put their STOs in their wallets, and then we build a market making solution. Yeah. So our vision was that um, there's no real point in using this amazing technology if it's, you've got to go and speak to 50 different com companies to make it work, otherwise yeah. no one will do that. So mm. that's been the mission we've been, um, at it longer than anyone I think in Asia mm. and um, we're super excited by the current um, trends in the marketplace cool. after a couple of years of getting it together and mm. starting now we're really starting to see a huge a huge upswing we're even at the first mm. STO summit in Korea yeah. so it's great. Um, how long did it take to get all the license in a the long, industry? A long long time yeah mm. uh, collectively about five and a half years okay. some of our licenses ran in parallel mm. um, Security token licenses essentially run within existing security frameworks. Mm. The difference is, of course, the technology. Yeah. So it, it, it takes time because, um, but it's happening and regulators want STOs because it's more transparency mm -hmm. than paper-based yeah. securities. Uh, and you don't need new rules. Mm. So how you issue, trade, buy, sell, advertise an STO, mm. um, it's how you do it with a security. So people have been confused around the globe. Yeah, true. Um, if you want to do it, mm. find licensed partners and do it within the law and then you can you can go uh, and, and, and it can begin. Cool. And I would like to more um, talk about more STO industry as well. What are the main trends and developments you've observed in the global STO market and how do you see it evolving in the coming years? Sure. Um, the global trends is all super bullish. You have like Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, saying yeah. tokenized securities, mm. uh, STOs are the next generation of securities. The same for the CEOs of, of, of many institutions, BlackRock and um, JP Morgan, mm, they've built their own tokenization yeah. platforms. Mm. Um, and then there's groups like us focusing on, and they're focused on public market assets and we're focusing on private markets. Mm. So n not publicly traded assets. So okay. globally, it's getting very bullish. Hong Kong just announced even last week, mm. the rules for STOs, which again are the same rules for securities with maybe one or two additions. Korea now is obviously extremely bullish. Yeah. Singapore has been bullish for a long time. Mm. Uh, even America. Um, again, like STOs are not cryptocurrency. We use the similar, the same technologies, yeah. but it's a completely different asset mm. class. But they so. have tokens as well they do. in STO. They do, mm. but um, because they're securities, mm. then they have to be issued and traded with licensed platforms, which are now over the last couple of years, there's many more. So Switzerland's very pro, Germany's very pro. Mm. Um, so yeah, so the STO market is now really taking off. And the other, mm -hmm. the other main important part was that the traditional finance or the TradFi, they've all come into the space now. Also the cryptocurrency guys, because a lot of the cryptocurrency investors who yeah. held cryptocurrency and mm -hmm. didn't want to hold fiat, 
couldn't get any yield after yeah. the last two year bear market. Mm. So people started tokenizing US dollar treasury bills, which paid 5% interest oh, yeah. up to seven. Yeah. So then the crypto guys started using the stable coins mm. to buy the T-bill STOs. Oh, okay. And now you have both sides of the market converging. Oh. Yeah. And I think Interesting. we've just signed a new part, uh, we've mm. just in partnership um, with Coinbase, who's one of our investors. Oh, okay. We've integrated with their protocol and their wallet. So the 15,000 mm -hmm. institutions mm -hmm. in Coinbase who are looking for STO services, legal, compliant, trading, etc., mm. can now use our platform. So it's really getting exciting. Mm, excellent. Then what are the primary benefits um, of tokenizing security for retail investors? Um, I think there's many. Uh, if I can go through them quickly, <laughs> I think access, yeah. access to new products. Okay. Um, globally. They have more choice. Global, cho mm. global access to global products. We're looking at we're tokenizing the first K content. Oh. STOs and, sell and, and and allowing all investors around the world to invest, yeah. retail investors. Okay. Um, if you buy these STOs, you can then trade them. You can also put them into platforms like IX Swap, which mm -hmm. is our market maker, and you can create a liquidity pool. Is that like a DeFi? It is. Platform? It's, a De it's a DeFi. Uh, it's like a hybrid. So it's like oh, a permission-based okay. decentralized finance. Mm. So investors have to KYC, but the assets are being issued as security tokens on public protocols. Cool. Uh, so there's a whole new world of investment opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot more things you can do with these assets. So if you if you if you have an STO versus a piece of paper, yeah. you could take that, you could lend, you could borrow, you mm. could make that much more usable. So, uh, and then there's now going to be a lot more distribution places you can buy. So you've now seen traditional finance like DBS Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, mm -mm. launching cryptocurrency exchanges, yeah. and now you have groups like Coinbase working mm. with us to launch STOs. Uh, so you have mm. both the traditional finance and decentralized finance major players all converging in the space and the asset that the asset class that brings them all together is the STOs. Mm. So in a world of digital currencies, it makes sense to have a world of digital securities STOs. Mm. So when they all come together, there's a whole explosion of innovation, of new products, of new value, cool. of new opportunities. And that's why that's what we do all day. Mm. Yeah. Then what do you think the most interest assets in STO? Like real estate, we have like arts. Yeah. What type um, of I assets? don't think it's real estate, although I think that will be the biggest. Oh. If you talk about interesting, oh. we've tokenized uh, luxury cars. Oh. We've tokenized wine and whiskey Even as wines. an investment. Yeah. Okay. Like an investment company that buys wine or whiskey as a commodity investment. Mm. STO shares, but you're actually accessing this which is obviously very alternative. Mm -hmm. uh, carbon credits and, and, and other types of artwork. Um, K content, which yeah. we're doing right now, which mm. I think is amazing. Music, IP rights around um, you know, artist creations, whatever that is. Okay. So that's what I think is the most interesting, oh, okay. um, which has never <laughs> been um, really possible before. Mm, okay, then how do you address liquidity concerns in secondary markets for security tokens and what strategies do you employ to promote trading and liquidity? Yeah, so one of the uh, only value propositions um, being talked about many years ago was mm. STOs means liquidity for liquid assets. Yeah. And that, um, as one statement, doesn't make a lot of sense. Which mm. asset? Where does it trade? How, how's it performing? Um, who can buy it? What's the minimum share? So it was a very, very blanket statement. And so that being said, um, as the industry was new, mm -hmm. there were no market makers because the cryptocurrency market makers are not licensed to market make security tokens. Oh, true. And the securities market makers are trying to work out what the whole industry is. Mm. They're coming for sure. Again, they're converging. Um, and so what we did is we looked at the innovations in the cryptocurrency industry. Mm -hmm. And in 2018, there was, <clears throat> as an example, or for, for the story to make mm -hmm. uh, more sense, yeah. There were 10 big cryptocurrencies trading on Coinbase and Binance. Mm -hmm. And if you're a big coin, you had you paid a million dollars to list, you had lots of liquidity, oh. you had market makers. Yeah. But then for 10,000 other smaller Small altcoins, yeah. they didn't have any trading, but they, they were listed on decentralized exchanges, mm. which are essentially just listing boards because there's no market makers. Yeah. And there's, not, there's no order book, there's no matching engine. So mm. Uniswap came along in 2017, mm. 18. They weren't the first, but they became the most famous and successful. Yeah. They developed a system where anyone with two cryptocurrencies could start their first liquidity pool. Okay. It's called an automated market maker. Mm. And then when people came to buy assets at the front of Uniswap, mm -hmm. it just said, buy ABC token, price one USDC. Mm. That, there wasn't like different prices. That was just one price. Okay. So it's called an AMM model. So we built IXSwap and it's the first 
uh, AMM for security tokens. So anyone can bring their security token to mm -hmm. our platform and they can legally start the first liquidity mm. pool. And then when people come to buy it, there's some liquidity there. Mm. So we solved the problem for the industry, which was a problem for ourselves, yeah. uh, which is extremely innovative. And I think it's, mm. it's built to help every STO in the world create liquidity that wants to create a liquidity pool. Mm. Um, and su super excited by IXWAP. That's, oh. that's our version. There are other market makers coming into the space yeah. right now, but this is the, this is the, the most mm. innovative one. Cool. I think, but still, there are lots of people still worrying about to invest in SDO to start a new um, investment. But what steps do you take to educate and support your clients or investors or issuers? Yeah, we, we do a lot. Uh, we do. We, we teach the first STO course mm -hmm. that's licensed uh, by the International Banking um, oh. Association in, okay. in Singapore. We teach bankers. Yeah. Uh, I run a podcast called Infinity and Beyond. Really? Right. I interview all the best uh, okay. companies in the space. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the IX the, the Academy on our on our platforms where we have loads of um, educational materials. Mm -hmm. um, we speak at you know, all the major events. Um, so we're very, very big on education because that is very key for people to get comfortable. And, and it's working as an industry mm. because there's now STO summits, there's maturation of understanding globally that STOs are not cryptocurrency, um, which wasn't the case before. Mm. People used to say to me, oh, you do real estate Bitcoin. And I said, what is that? And they said, I don't know, STOs. <laughs> and I said, that doesn't make any sense. That's like, do I do real estate US uh. dollars? So, so we've got this, uh, and, and great help from eDaily and other groups around the world mm. that are promoting the industry and, and getting things off the ground. So yeah. I think it's a combination of many things. We're very, we're very prominent on, on social media and it's a journey. So we need to understand that and we need to try to help as many companies as possible understand. Okay, I'll try to find you on podcast after sure. our interview. Sure. <laughs> and what advice can you offer to other companies looking to embark on a similar journey to enter the SDO industry? Yeah. Um, I believe that STOs as an industry will operate very much like the securities market from mm. a user experience. So True. what does that mean? I think the super majority of people will buy and sell on platforms mm. where it's licensed, where it's legal, where they yeah. don't even have to take the tokens into their wallet, just like mm. interactive brokers. Um, so I think that the, the advice is if you want to issue an STO, you know, you find platforms like Investor X and IXWAP mm -hmm. who've gone through years and years and years of um, pain <laughs> to get the necessary licenses yeah. to allow mm -hmm. you to issue and where it's where it's the least amount of work and a one-stop shop mm -hmm. um, on the investor side if you're looking to invest into the space if you think back to um, technology investors typically not always yeah the people who get the most asymmetric return were the investors who are there early oh, so okay reading and watching videos and listening to these um, and coming to events is great but you should find platforms that you like and trust and buy an STO mm -hmm. a lot of them aren't a lot of money on IXWAP you can buy one STO for one USDC for one dollar so you need to get your hands dirty and feel yeah. it out and set it up or you won't really invest mm -hmm. you know so that's what I recommend publicly everywhere find somewhere that's legitimate go and buy something it's, it's an educational process True. and learn how it works yeah. and do it on a couple of platforms and then get comfortable. And then when these new assets and products are coming down the pipeline, mm. you're there ready to go and you're not scrambling trying to understand how this whole system works. Mm. And because it's technology, it's evolving every day. So there's new, improved or new things, you know, literally incrementally happening every single day. It's hard for me to keep up and yeah. I work in the space. <laughs> And it's at least at the very minimal, it's, it's fascinating what's going on. Cool. Yeah. You also learn from the failure. So you need to act first. Yeah. Right? So, you know, fail with one dollar. Mm, one and dollar. Then, Worth and, it. You know, if you, and hopefully you don't yeah. fail, but yeah, <laughs> that's, that's also true. Okay, cool. So um, thank you for joining us today and hope to see you in the near future. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it.